Today we're talking about the top digital nomad jobs here on the journey. So you've probably had a point in your life where you're just watching that clock go round at your job and the nine to five isn't really quite cutting it for you anymore. Good news, there is such a thing as digital nomad, like myself. So why don't you talk us through what is a digital nomad? Yeah, so essentially it's your remote, right? Your remote employee. So you could work from literally anywhere. Now, not every job. Anywhere, like Fiji? Like Fiji. We okay. could go on vacation, but we'd be working because we're digital nomads. Okay. Yeah. So not all play. No, but like if your job is like mine, where a lot of it is on a computer, you got that laptop, grab your sunscreen, and you can go travel the world. And it's very appealing. I know us millennials, we are loving it. And a lot of jobs, you know, maybe they don't offer it at first, but you could even explore that avenue. Okay. All right, so if we're wanting to become a digital nomad, what are some of the ways that we can do it? Sell your time, for one. I mean, think about it. There's times where you're like, oh, I'm being so unproductive with my time. So what I like to say is turn your time into cash. Yeah. Woo! I can't <laughs> grab any of them. Missed well, every single one. I don't want that. All right. And what's really cool about this option, you know, being a nomad, is you can do a lot that doesn't really require a ton of time and you can get some small financial gains. So some of the things I've seen my friends do are like just filling out a survey or being part of like research, a research group, okay. data research. Also, errands, people don't have time to do their errands. That's or they why just don't want to like me. Or they don't want to. And that's why TaskRabbit, have you ever oh, used it? Yeah, yeah, TaskRabbit. I've never used it cool. before. I don't know. I'm like really into doing errands though. I, like, I love to go to the grocery. So, but with TaskRabbit, yeah, that's another like small financial gain. And someone just does a little bit of their time to go help you out with your groceries, et cetera. My buddy, Matt, he actually does. What you up, know, Matt? <laughs> Yo, Matt, this one's for you. Um, he, I hope you're okay with me sharing this story. Uh, so you know like the bird scooters? Yeah, yeah they're yeah. literally everywhere. Yeah, they're, yeah, it's like a problem in some places. Well, in San Diego, yeah, they're literally everywhere. Um, but my buddy lives in LA and he figured out, you know, it makes sense to like put a bunch in my truck and go charge them for money. Mm -hmm. And the way he looks at it is it's like, cause I'm like, those are pretty heavy, man. He's like, yeah, I'm getting paid to work out instead of paying a gym to go to and work out. And I was like, that is a very, very smart use of your time in the nomad world. Another cool thing is you can sell your skills. Like, what are you good at? What are your friends? Oh, Eating. <laughs> it's like a <laughs> hot dog competition. But like, what are your friends Seriously, always right. asking you to do? Like, that's why I always encourage people who are looking to sell their skills. Like, what do people come to you for? Like, for my mom, for example, this blows my mind, but she like genuinely loves to clean. Okay, it's yeah. weird. I, I, I know, like, I, she, she likes it. it and she's really good at it. So no joke, like her best friend has an Airbnb and my mom, sells her skill of cleaning and is in charge of cleaning after each guest comes through yeah. and gets paid hourly. And I'm just like, but it's your best friend. She's like, yeah, but I can, I can make money off of this and I am. That's crazy. But yeah, I kind of do the same thing. I build websites on the side. So then I can do that from my home, from Starbucks, from Fiji, if I ever got invited to Fiji. I'm waiting for the invite. Digital nomad. But Fiji. any any type of like creative service that you can think of, and it goes back to what are your friends and other people asking you to do already? Mm -hmm. Start charging for it and build your business that way. Whether it's web design, graphic design, video editing, video copywriting, blogging, whatever that looks like. Yeah. Social media. Yeah. If you're sitting on a computer doing it, just with you in the computer, you can do that anywhere. Yeah. I used to get asked a lot um, to edit my friends' like personal statements for grad school or review what they're writing to get into nursing school. And so I just hop on my computer, set it my way, and do some editing. And I realize, oh, I should probably be charging for this. It's a side hustle economy. But you can go on places like Fiverr or Upwork to basically look for jobs, whether you're posting for a job or looking for new mm -hmm. work. So go on there, you can search different industries or subjects or categories or whatever it looks like. And if you find something that you can do, put your name out there, Definitely. present your little proposal and quote, and see if it gets you a little bit of that extra money that you can work anywhere with. 
Yeah. Yeah, and then moving on from selling your, your skills, you can also sell your knowledge and start to teach people what you know. Uh, but you know what they say. What do they say? If you build a man a fire, he's warm for a day. Light a man on fire, he's warm for the rest of his life. Oh my God, don't sell your jokes, please. <laughs> sell some other knowledge. I tried. Um, but you know, when selling your knowledge, think about it. What can you package up and sell? What is it? I mean, for me, like a lot of my friends, they like say come to me to edit things on my computer for them. Also just like life advice, take right. advantage of that psychology background. I should be charging you guys for this. By the hour. By the hour. <laughs> All right, and now I know what a lot of you are thinking, like well, I don't have enough skills or experience to sell my knowledge. There's that self-doubt. That self-doubt yeah. monster is so there, right? Yeah. But I, I've said it in quite a few videos already. The, the real thing with like selling your knowledge, you only have to be at least one chapter ahead of the people you're teaching. You could be a couple chapters ahead. There's people gonna I be much that. smarter than you, but that's fine. You wanna be basically there to serve your audience and help teach them what you're doing. But what are some sites that they can go on and, and really help sell their services? Yeah, so there's two that I love, Skillshare and Udemy, like educate me. I'll use Udemy. It has basically like online courses so you mm -hmm. can upload or watch them. And there's usually pretty inexpensive, anywhere starting like 10 bucks and on. So yeah. you could use that as a starting point to really get, get started essentially. And then as you get better and better at it, start charging a higher premium to, to make that money. That's right. And then also, you know, we've been talking about selling skills, selling knowledge. You can also sell your creations, which right away, that's like the inception of Etsy, right? right? Like someone's really good at making candles or jewelry and they're turning it into a profit and that's brilliant. So I go on Etsy occasionally, but uh, it's definitely a huge market and you can really get creative there. So what can you create? Do you have something in mind that you're really good at? Hop online. Let us know in the comments below if you actually create something, maybe a link to your site. Yeah. We might want to check it out. We'll wear it on Probably the journey. Want to check it out. Maybe. Maybe. So I remember you were telling me about something with farmers in Indiana. Oh yeah, so I grew up in Indiana and I noticed this a lot recently when I've been going back to visit is just how many people that live there sell produce because there's like, well, you know, tons of corn and it's tomatoes. Indiana. It's Indiana, everyone's got a garden and they're making a profit off of it. It's one of my favorite things to see. You'll just be driving down the road and you'll pass like one tent after another and they're selling their produce there. But think That's about it, rad. can you do uh, woodwork? Uh, what can you create? What do you already have a ton of because of your environment, like Indiana and farms? <laughs> and how can you monetize that? Like, what can you do to sell or create based on your local area? All right, so here's some other digital nomad job examples. I know one that my cousin leverages is that she knows a ton of different languages. So okay. she helps to teach with that. Like, someone wants to learn Spanish or Italian. Like she's there, she can teach and educate, make some extra money on the side. Doesn't matter where she is. Yeah, she she'd it. also probably do transcription too. So if yes. they need to do one language to the other, she could probably help out with that. She does that actually as well. Thanks for reminding me. Hey, look at that. Devin, you do it all. But um, yeah, there are tons of things you could do. You can be an online coach, whether it's fitness or ooh, business yeah. related. I know there's a bunch of Instagram groups, Instagram coaches that coast exclusively through Instagram using the DM feature and the videos and stories and everything else. You can possibly do that and basically coach from your couch. Yeah, there's a lot you can do with writing as well. I mean, blog content, right. short stories, comedian, all of that would Still be cool. Still trying to sell my jokes. <laughs> That'd be so cool to write jokes for a comedian. That'd be awesome. And bonus. Bonus. You could invent your own job as a digital nomad. Let's say you see a need, fill that need. Yeah, and whatever that looks like, you can potentially like smushing a bunch of just random jobs together to create like a super job. But as long as it fills those needs, you can do it. And that you get paid. Yes, you have to get paid. Otherwise, you're not a digital man. It's just a hobby. Yeah. All right, so whether you have a new startup, a new contract, either way, just don't let fear get in the way of that. Don't let that self-doubt, like Neely was talking about earlier. Throw it away. Throw it out the window and tackle that digital nomad job, even if it's something you made up. All right, that's a wrap. You've learned the top digital nomad jobs. Make sure to like this video, comment below, and subscribe to our channel. And ring that bell so you're the first to know when our next video comes out. This is The Journey.